Major development in the champion balancing. Hello everybody, welcome to the first video of Thursday. Now, I'm going to be working on a Cavalier cheat sheet as well as a boss takedown video or best counters video, whatever, later on today. Uh, but uh, this one had to go out first because it is incredibly uh, important. As a lot of you know, we were coming into crunch time with the champion uh, rebalancing scheme. If you know, back, back at the start of the year, the rating system, which was, you know, something that was going to come in to then retool champions or kind of like adjust them. And one of those first two champions would have been a Mega Sentinel and Captain Britain. But there's been like a major development with this and especially to kind of note some of the changes that were going to be done uh, to or buff champions that were going to be looked into, which, as all you know, Psycho Man was definitely confirmed. Uh, just to clear up any kind of issues, because I know it was was questioned by several people so this this sentiment is very important here just to confirm uh, in April we'll be moving back to our two updates per month which is what is meant to be as of next month but we'll not guarantee what kind of updates they will be overall blah blah blah, blah. we're also spending some time to give some more love to champions animation updates to look forward to animations so animations uh, and ability updates coming for Gamora Storm and Deadpool X-Force so you know, it's kind of like, um, it's not very clear there, but it says, uh, you know, so look forward to animations and ability updates coming for Gamora, Storm, and Deadpool X-Force. So you kind of go, okay, that may be the scheme of the ongoing months. Is that going to be like two months, uh, two champions in April? No, I would probably say because it's animations and abilities that it will be Gamora for April, Storm for May, and Deadpool X-Force uh, for June. That's how I'd assume this to be. Why is this important to mention first? Well, this goes very importantly for context into a brand new announcement. And that is that uh, Kabam say they're going to be delaying champion attributes and champion balancing uh, updates. So that means that... Um, there's two parts to this this particular element here. We'll be delaying the launch of our new champion attributes, formerly called Champion Rating System, for a short period of time. This means that Captain Britain, Betsy Braddock, and Omega Center will not be part of the new approach to balance in champions. We, we were initially ready to launch this system this month with a set of approximately 30 champions with attributes added to their champion spotlights, but found that the system will be more useful to players with a larger group of champions to compare to. I still, I still really don't know how this is going to be from, you know, are you going to see this from an in-game perspective? I don't know whether or not this feels like you're able to vote on this in any kind of way. And obviously, like, this is down to, I think, other people making decisions uh, for the player base, which can be seen as quite a antiquated way of looking at this, especially from what is, you know, a community and transparency. But there's also like a second kind of part to this. I mean, the first part like sucks because like, you know, I would have liked to have, um, you know, seen this in action, you know, not, not to kind of like go, oh, I'll just rip on this because this is going to be how it's going to be. But at least to see that, you know, what is the first state of, of this in action. There's still a lot of champions I do not own, uh, but definitely to kind of see the likes of, um, you know, a Mega Sentinel and, uh, and also kind of like Captain Britain kind of like looked into. Uh, would be kind of a good start to see how this kind of like um, goes. But, Command do say, we aim to have the system launch uh, when we are able to display attributes for approximately 100 champions. You can look forward to more information about champion attributes and the launch timing as we move closer to the new launch date, whenever that will be. So, you know, I don't don't really know when that's it. Is it going to be on May time? There's a lot of stuff, Command wise that they're putting out in Battlegrounds. Are coming out, it's coming out next month for beta. And as well, the new input system as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on. And if they're not ready, I guess then they're not ready for it. There is a part two to this. And the part two is very real world. Okay. Um, I've, I've tried several times to, to record this because this particular segment here does require some kind of focus on. And I kind of feel like, and by the way, I do not want any opinions on what is going on with the conflict uh, between um, or the war um, at the moment in Ukraine. Right. That's the first thing. The reason being that a lot of people seem to play conflict top trumps. And that is basically my conflict or my country's conflict or this conflict is bigger than someone else's. And that's not that's that's just not it. We lose our humanity if that is the the case. And look, here's the thing. People have already lost their humanity if they think that going and result a war is the answer to anything. And it's not. It's really not. There's so many conflicts that go underneath the radar. Um or things that, you know, we don't hear about. But look, here's the thing. 
that is the only political bit of coverage I'm going to do on this channel. This is gaming, okay? And what gaming is, is a distraction from a lot of stuff. From mental health, that message you about so much, gaming is a good outlet for that. Same way, just like playing on a mobile device and kind of like forgetting what's going on is good. I'm not saying you have to forget about it, but you have to get yourself into a positive mindset in order to kind of continue on and tackle stuff. And sometimes you need a positive breakaway or something that you enjoy, a little breakaway from the negativity of the world. And that's just the thing. That's why it's great about having this community as people come together. So just have like... That, and as I've said, like, I've I've seen some terrible takes from people on the situation, and and just like let's kind of go over why kabam and let's put it back, go back to the kind of I've had my I've had my, had my political moment, which I won't be doing again in other videos. I'll be focusing on the content and MCOC. But kabam have said additionally, we regret to regret to inform you that uh, due to current real world events, we will be pulling a champion we had planned for an update for ne or next no next month. We do not feel that celebrating this champion at this time is appropriate and is insensitive. Gamora will be the only champion to receive an update in April and will have an update animations as well. Uh, and that, as I said, that's probably the reason that we're not going to see something for Deadpool X or Storm and Gamora, okay? Uh, so what does this really kind of mean or what kind of like champion uh, could this be? Well, I, I don't think this is going to be... A mega red but i do think it's going to be red guardian i feel that red guardian might have been that particular champion he does output a good amount of damage but uh, definitely it kind of feels like that is um that's probably the champion they were referring to yeah or maybe they were going to like really buff a mega red or maybe there was another another one that has kind of an affiliation but you know um, red red guardian's kind of like the, the quintessential kind of uh well you know he's looks like some kind of a so type person, yes, that. Um, <laughs> and look, here's the thing: like, I'm sure that people were going to be like wondering why. And as as Kamamif, like said in, I think they responded to something. Um, there's a take here. There's there's a few things I I could really pick apart a lot of people's takes on on this, but. Um, look, I think we just got to put it down to this This decision may come a bit further up the line. And I wouldn't be surprised if they start doing stuff in other Marvel mobile games and other Marvel games in, in any kind of case. But Kaban Miki says, uh, thank you for your respectful post. However, I don't think we want to have the discussion here. We didn't make this decision lightly and didn't want to remove a buff, but felt that it was the best move at the time. Um, also, I need to kind of like really kind of mention to people if you don't know... There are some people that are family members of, of people from one of the affected countries. There's also, in gaming, there is um, a lot of de games developers are from that partic one particular country. And let's just say, like, I don't think they work for Kaban, but I, don't, I do know a lot of uh, Ukrainian nationals that work in the gaming industry. Or have, you know, relatives or kind of... And it's just like, if you, if you were told you had to work on... Um, the abilities you have to rework a character for a game that's a that's a Ru that's a Russian based character. That's kind of like that's kind of bad to kind of do that from especially from an internal perspective. That's the first side of things. The second side of things is that a lot of companies there's a lot of pressure from different areas. I mean, look right here. Like here's an art article where some uh, where Disney Plus have um said that um they they've pulled out certain things certain and, and it, that that could go like so for different directions imagine if they they said that um any kind of mention like uh here's a good example Indiana Jones Indiana Jones 4 imagine if like Disney Plus cuz Disney owned the rights to to kind of the Indiana Jones franchise imagine if they said okay well you know we we we're going to pull that out. i think it was like Anastasia or something they said they're going to pull uh from Disney Plus so you get the idea of like what this this kind of goes a bit above kabam and it could be a lot of pressure from like the game side of things like um uh, any kind of licenses Marvel licenses that are kind of then issued by Disney that could be like, look, you know, we, we don't want to uh, to kind of do it. Make sure you're not doing anything that kind of advertises 
any specific character that kind of was in the conflict or whatever. I don't know, but it's one of these things where businesses will look to just go, look, let's kind of get ourselves away from any kind of criticism because we need to focus on something else. Because it could be a, like a PR nightmare, the same way that McDonald's took a long time to pull out of uh, uh, Russia and all these kind of sanctions and stuff like that. And also for Kabam, like, you know, this, this I always imagine that this gif with, with Kabam, which is the one from The Simpsons, which is... Um, I'll do it as Mr. Burns going, Damn it, Kabam, can't you go five, one minute without embarrassing yourself? And it's just like, you know, the um, Abe Simpson's black pants fall. I mean, people get that kind of reference, don't they? If I say that, Damn it, Kabam, you can't go one moment without embarrassing yourself. Which, um, you know, it's stuff like stuff with the game, you know, goes wrong on that light. Ugh, stuff. I <laughs> it honestly feels weird, kind of like talking about anything kind of um, overly political. Um, but that's really it. Like, I'm going to get back to gaming. You know, a lot of this stuff is kind of like, is in here at the moment. And I'm like, I use gaming as an outlet just to kind of, you know, forget about a lot of stuff. And as I said, I'm not forgetting about it because, you know, that's what you should do. You shouldn't. And there's gonna there's charity streams. So I think it's Cataclysm's doing a charity stream um, for, for the conflict um, in Ukraine. There's also like um, other stuff that's going to be done. You know, I'm going to be doing whatever I, I, I need to do to, to kind of, uh, you know, support who I can support. And uh, you know, me and Em are going to do whatever we're going to do. Maybe we'll do some charity stuff like here and there um, or kind of find out what the, what's best to do um, to, to help out. But it's like, look, you know, this is this is this is when it impacts in the game. And yeah, as I said, last time it's going to be <laughs> I'm going to talk about anything kind of political because I do want to kind of get in and focus on on the gaming. Cavalier cheat sheets dropping later on, so look forward to that. There's also going to be like other stuff as well, and uh, yeah, let's get rock and rolling and gaming, people. We got some content to smash out. Make sure to check out some other content located on screen right now. What's your thoughts on the delay side of things when it comes to rebalancing and uh, and stuff like that? Thoughts in the comment section, and uh, I'll be reading them because I want to make sure that people are don't talk about the conflicts. Try and talk about. The game stuff, please. <laughs>